How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. I'm an atheist. All right. Right on. I used to be a Christian. Then I went to went to college. I had to learn stuff and maybe take class on the world religions. At the time, I couldn't even name five religions. But uh, yeah, then then I take a class on the Bible. That's really what did it for me was seeing the facts contradict what I believed, and then having Bible verses shown to me. It was basically exposing that my beliefs actually weren't even warranted credible to the Bible. Just like the fact that the, the, the snake in the garden is not Lucifer, is not a fallen angel. In fact, Genesis it says the serpent is the most crafty of the creature created in the garden. Clearly, Paul must have been confused thinking it's a fallen anything. He must have a problem reading. So I started really like, wow. And I started realizing when you read the, the, the Gospels of Paul, often Paul will say that I don't know this from God, but this is my opinion. This is what I think. If it's wrong, brothers, you know, see if it doesn't match up. And, and to me, that really is most of, of the Bible. It doesn't match up when you investigate. We should investigate. And to me, anyone who, any belief or idea that's unwilling to accept challenge is just a falsehood that's fearing exposure. So I'm willing to be challenged. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, don't you, don't, do you believe that God created the earth? Well, I don't know what you mean by God first. Okay. What do you mean yeah. by God? So what is a God? Uh, God yeah. Yeah, God, uh, yeah, he's... Well, so, 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 well, so you said he, so you feel God is a male. How do you yeah. know that God's well, a male? Well, kind of referred to that there. So your, 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 your knowledge of what a God is is referred to something, you're, I guess, a book? Yeah, nope. the Bible. I the say, Bible. Yeah. So the Bible's how you know the, the term God. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Bible says you must be born again to inherit the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. uh, so that, that's an assertion, though, correct? No, that, that's... It's, you, you, when you're born again, it says in Ezekiel 36 that all things are created new. He says he gives you a new heart. He takes out your old okay. stony heart. He gives you a heart of flesh. Uh, he gives you new desires, a new way. You're not to be conformed to this world, but be renewed. Uh, okay, so those are statements. How do you know that a God made them? What's that? How do you know a God, the God you believe, made them? Well, if we're living out our faith. I mean, I mean, how can I, how can I sit here and explain to you that, uh, you know, the things that have happened? Well, well, you can explain to me because you said that Jesus. What's this? Your thing says. says, trust, says trust Jesus. What's the other side say? It says fear God. Fear God. So you got. So you are talking for God or are you talking about God? What's that? You're talking for God or about God, right? Uh, talking about God. You're, well, you're you're fear God. You're saying you're yeah. saying there's some characteristic. Yeah, it's important. So, yeah. so in your message, fear and with God is the most important message, right? I, I believe for as a Christian, yeah, and, and uh, as being God fearing, yeah, I believe that's so important for Christianity, especially that. So that's God. important so that you could believe, or that's an important uh, quality of God to be feared. Yeah, it's an important quality. It says it's the beginning of wisdom. So fear, fearing something is the beginning of wisdom. Yes, it says in the Proverbs, it says, for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So could you be a Christian and not fear God? Would God's uh, truth be any more or less valid if fear wasn't involved? I, uh, I, will feel like I believe that uh, without the fear of the Lord, I, it's hard to, I, I just, I don't, I can't see it. It's the beginning of wisdom. I, it's hard for me to... So you can't it. see the belief in God without fear. So fear and belief is connected. I, uh, I believe there is a connection there. This is loving God. It's loving well, God but you don't say God. loving God. You say Wait, fear God. Yeah, it says fear God. And the back says we, trust uh, Jesus. Yeah. So we trust uh, Jesus that wants us to fear God. Is that correct? Uh, well, we trust God. Well, you, you know, you say if the thing says trust Jesus, yeah. so we trust you Jesus. God, you got God. You got, you got. And how do you know that that's an accurate assessment of reality? That's no. That's how it is. It means it's how that you you have accepted the assertion of belief. Correct? Yeah. How, how are you doing, my friend? Ah, pretty good. All right, we're good. I would want to go talk to you guys. <laughs>